Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and we are back here once again with another episode of Project Ozone 2. You know, I get asked quite often, guys, am I ever going to finish Project Ozone? Am I close? What's going on with it? And to be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> I think we're going to finish it though. And I think we're getting close, but I'm not sure. Like, I, I've tried to look ahead in the book here. We still have three categories here locked, but we can look in them. Um, and, like, we've been doing some of this already. That's the Draconic Evolution stuff. This is Singularities and stuff. We've done this one, we've done this one, this one, this one. Uh, a lot of these were going to be close to being done. But this is the one I don't understand. It's just, like, empty. And we have to unlock all the other quests before we can see what's what's in here, I guess. Uh huh. And most of these chains are just about done, so I think it's I think we're getting close, guys. Honestly, it's not going to be too much left to it. Uh, we're up to our second harvest with, of neutrons here, so let's break these. Oh yeah, little baby ti tiny piles of neutrons. Gotta love it. So I think that's going to bring us up to about a hundred. Uh, neutron ingots in total. I think we need 200 or a little bit more. Um, so we're getting close with that for the Wand of Animation. But I am going to try to build a few more of these today, hopefully. Because we only got 64. I would like to get at least double that or more. Oh, we got 8 more. Alright, get those reset. So last time we uh, made the Dragon Dimlet. So we can farm dragon hearts at our leisure here if we want for the Waken Draconium. Uh, we also got started on making some of the stew. Let's check this out again. Stew. Ultimate stew. Oh my goodness. So we did like all the vegetables in it and this is it. I filled in all the pieces. Is there a quick way to put these where they belong? Because I had to do it all manually, and that really sucks. <laughs> it's like, okay, where does the beat go? And i got to look at the picture and then match it up. It's like a giant, oh, just a giant nightmare. We're trying to find the place of everything. I would love to, like, just, like, you know how when you auto-craft stuff, you can hit the question mark? Like, if you're in a crafting table, just right-click it, hit the question mark. You can't do that with this, can you? I would like to be able to. I don't know how to, though. Um, all right. So what we need for the stew is the tree. So I sifted some topiary grass. And these are all the saplings we got out of it. So what I think we're going to end up doing here is planting each of these. Let's grab some bone meal. Doo, doo, doo. Is this bone meal or is this bones? Oh, it's bone meal. Okay. Okay, grab grab some bone meal. We'll grow a tree. Is this just like... Oh, it's a maple tree. I guess there's no... Nothing on this, is there? What does it give you? Maple syrup? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't think we actually needed this one. Let's look at the, the box here again. We're going to try to go through each of these and just get all the fruits we can. Pistachios. Okay, let's try this one out. Do, do, grow it. This one has fruit. I think we can shift click or right click these with bone meal, right? Yeah, and then that grows them. So we can get the fruit this way, just holding it with the, the bone meal. Or another option is just to throw it in here. Start duplicating it. And then uh, probably chop down the trees and then go on to the next one. All right, very good, very good. So we went through all the trees one by one here, grew over a stack of each of the fruits. And I filled in the spots here. So there's five left here. Five missing things. And I guess those are from the Natura mod. Blightberry, Stingberries, um, Duskberry, Skyberry, and Mellowberry. These are all things I've never actually really tried to grow before. Natura is one of those mods that that's nice to have in the background. It adds a few different types of trees and plant life and stuff, but I don't actually ever use the mod to be honest. So there's stingberries, mellowberries, skyberry. I don't know how to grow these bushes. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to try to figure this out here. Uh, mellowberry I think just grows on grass for sure. But some of these I think we gotta go to the nether for. Oh you can speed them up. Okay that's cool. Oh and then they grow more? Interesting. I don't know if I can speed up like uh, 
So wait, how do these grow? They just keep adding onto the top? Oh, there's a limit to it. So there's four, four at the max. And if we break this, we can get more bushes. They're the same kind? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. 9.30 colon 3. 9.30 colon 15. Okay, so they're slightly different, I guess. How do they differ? Just out of curiosity. They look the same. Okay, we'll grow these. And I want to try to use the watering can on them. Maybe that makes it quicker. Let's see here. Watering can. There it is. Okay, I want to see if we can speed up the growth with this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it looks like it works. Cool. Uh, with this, we can't duplicate them. So maybe we got to look into a way of farming them quicker. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if the skyberry grows here. No, we can't plant it at all. Okay. I have no idea what to plant it on then. Can't grow stingberry here. So let's see if we got nether rack. And or let's just create some, I guess. Sure. And see if we can grow that in the overworld, or if we actually have to go to the nether to do it. I'm pretty sure it grows on that. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Okay, so we got to figure out what blocks these all grow on. Oh, oh, oh. Duskberry, found it. Woohoo. All right, now I think we got all five. Okay, so in the Natura mod, there's eight different bushes here. Four of them grow in the overworld, four grow in the nether. On netherrack, so that's that's what we need here, I guess. Uh, Duskberry goes on that. Lightberry. All right, and I guess there's no limit to it, it seems. It's not four. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. All right, so if we put this here. Sprinklers don't seem to do the trick. Hmm. Okay, these might be harder to get than I thought. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 that grew. Could have been a lucky chance. I don't know now. Oh, it, it fully grew. Okay, and this is growing. So it, I think the sprinklers are working. It's just kind of slow. Okay, we got some berries. It harvested them. Okay, good, good, good. Interesting. You can actually just grow them in uh, midair. Like, you need the block, the netherrack here to place it, but then you can break it afterwards. And grow it with bone meal. <laughs> uh huh. Was not expecting that. So if we look at Natura, Natura, we got those planted at the farm. Uh, we need a, at least a stack of each of them for right now. You see, it's slowly going up here. Twenty-seven of those, thirty of those, twenty-eight of those. So we just gotta wait a little bit here. All right, let's do a couple quick quests here while we wait. Uh, we have a lot of easy ones we need to do still, like toast sandwiches. We've been carrying toast around this whole time. <laughs> Just never, never crafted it. All right, that one's done. That was easy. We got all these furnaces to make, uh, which I think just take the Cacio and Minicio and all that stuff. Let's look under furnace so we can do this quickly. Oh, why is there two for each one? That's weird. Okay, that's done. Is it just one of each? Let's check the book. Yeah, one of each. Okay. Back at Furnace. Let's do the yellow one. Got it. Blue one. Got it. Purple. And I think the ultimate one's a little bit more fancy, right? Oh, it's Temperio. And we need an extreme Furnace, which I guess we have. Okay. Easy, easy. Now these are all done. Yep. Cool. I wonder if, oh, it unlocks a quest somewhere else. We got a heart from that. And it's a real heart. It's not a, a rotten one. Cool. All right, so we got basic bags. Never anything good. Good bag. Oh, another portal gun. Greater bag. It's decent. Oh, yes, we got, we got a legendary. Here we go. Oh, it's just apples. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, that was easy. Oh, we gotta make all the baking ware. No. Ah, yeah. Whoa. French toast. Okay, what is this? What is this? Uh, we need ground cinnamon, sugar, eggs, or toast. Okay, that's not too bad. Do we get some bread? We got some bread. 
Let's go ahead and uh, get that in the furnace since we used all our toast on the sandwiches. Okay, cinnamon, I think we grew already. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Cinnamon. Yeah, I got 8,000 in there. And how do we process this? How do we turn it into ground cinnamon? Mortar and pestle. Okay, that's easy. We do this, and we do that. And we make a da French toast. There we go. Okay, so we need 16. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't make me put it in every time. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, we did a full stack. That's good. Ooh. Epic bacon unlocks two quests elsewhere. Hello. This one's just all the dyes, right? Yeah. And we need some pork. Do we have pork or tofu? Oh, we got lots actually. That's good. All right, let's put that in the furnace. Okay, I think we're going to use the bacon as our main food item, because it's 9 haunches and 10 saturation. I don't think there's anything better, right? Could be wrong about that. Oh, is it... Oh, it's a crafting quest. No! <laughs> I duplicated the, uh, most of this. I just made the one. Okay, what color do we need here, then? See, we're making more. But uh, I just actually ha wants us to craft it. We need purple. Purple is... Like so. Okay. Let's go back to the bacon. Hopefully we have enough to make three more. One, two... Oh, no! <laughs> Why? We need pink now? Or magenta. I think that's magenta. Magenta. Oh, it would have been so convenient if it just worked, you know? Bacon. We gotta jump back and forth. Okay, now we got four. We got four. Right? Yeah. Excellent. Got a half a heart, greater bag, hearts, um, anything else here? I think that's all of them. Okay, so let's do some stuff here now. Uh, I want to see if this unlocked any of the main quest lines. No, these are all still locked, so that did nothing for us. All right, that's 92% done, though, but this one's going to give us trouble. <laughs> uh, I think all these are done, pretty much. Uh, let's go ahead and try out this ultimate furnace, because I'm curious how it works. It looks like you just plant it on the ground. Let's grab some coal. And let's see, let's burn, uh, let's just burn up that netherrack we made. Oh, nether. Just want to try this out, see how quick it actually is, because you guys were telling me to use it, this before. And I never did, and I kind of felt bad about that. Okay, that can go there. Oh yeah, that is pretty fast. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, good stuff. We can finally finish up with our stew. Enough time has passed. We got a stack of each of the berries. Let's go ahead and put these in. Then we just need epic meatballs, and we'll just about got uh, our late game stuff taken care of here. Oh, my goodness. That was so tricky to do. <laughs> Not tricky, just time-consuming. There's a lot of pieces to that. So I think that made nine nine stacks of them. Um, epic meatballs. Or is that not what they're called? Meatballs will be our next thing. These here. Cosmic meatballs. So we got all these pieces except for the meat ingots. These are going to be a bit tricky. Um, I'm wondering if we make a dimlet for like a cow dimension maybe. And then we can just farm cows easily. But I'm not quite sure where to get the meat from right now. Okay, um, what was I going to do? Okay, let's finish up some of these uh, beta quests here. So we need a stack of dream woods and 32 elemental ingots. Elementium. So let's go over here. Oh no, there's nothing left there, is there? We, we tore that all down. Except for the portals still there. Let's grab some lotus. Do do. Oh, there's none in there. Huh. I guess it's all in here. So we got to get our elven dimension open up here again. So we got to get a little bit of mana into the pools and we throw those on. Good. Throw some on this one. We can open up our portal, portal again now that those are full. And get some dream wood. And 32 of the elementium. Okay. I'm going to grab some of that back. Or does it not do... Maybe it doesn't do jungle wood. Oh, it doesn't. It just went right through. <laughs> does it do oak wood? Or does it need to be... 
You know what? I think we need the living wood for it, don't we? Let's try this again. Okay, does that work? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So that'll give us a stack of that. Good. Okay, let's check out our book. That should uh, finish quite a bit of things here. Yeah, so those other two were done. That's done. We fought the Gaia. Both types. We made our super ring, the Ring of Odin. I think that's what we're wearing right now, right? Oh, no, we made the one better than that, actually. Aha! And then one last thing is the Ring of Magnetization. Ring of Magnetization. How do we make this thing? We need a lens. Okay, I'm not sure where to go because we kind of split up our, our gear here. I guess let's try Botania Land. Hopefully we have everything to make it. Ring of Mag. Okay, let's try to do that. Oh, yeah, we do have enough stuff. Good. Do that. And that is the last quest here. Cool. So I think we might have done this one before. It's a repeatable quest. That just leaves the carrot one, and then the beta branch is done here. 97%. Hmm. These are still locked. <laughs> 11 and 12. I was hoping that Gaia Guardian one was the one to do it. Because it gave us two legendary bags. Like, that was a really good quest, but I guess uh, that wasn't what we needed. Let's open these up, though. I want to see what we get. It's a greater bag. Lenses. Oh, oxygen stuff. That is pretty sad for a legendary. Forbidden reward. We got a turret based tier 5 ammo. Oh, this is something I'm going to kill myself with, isn't it? <laughs> but I got to try it. Let's go to somewhere a little safer, maybe. In case it goes haywire. We don't want it on the main island. I don't know if this kills me or, or what it does. Railgun turrets. I don't think this is... I don't think this will destroy the terrain, right? Famous last words. Uh, let's try give it some power. It got power. It's got power. Oh, man. This is a mod I really want to play around with, like, on a on a server with some other people. <laughs> and uh, go to war. Doesn't really suit this pack very well when you're playing single player. Because we've done nothing with it. And I don't think there's any quests for it either. Oops. Okay, so what do we do now? Attack mobs, true. Attack neutrals. Attack players, false. Good. Uh, oh, it needs ammo. It gave us some, right? Yeah, pharaoh magnetic slugs. Let's save one so we can duplicate it. Oh my goodness! Ha! Oh. <laughs> that was so loud! Oh wow! It's trying to hit that cow, I think. That one over there. All right, guys, I made some more ammo here. Um, this is pretty cool. I guess you can choose to like break the turret on top if you want to put a different one on, or drop the base breaks both both pieces. Um, if you try to break it with your pick, you can't, which is really smart because, like, you don't want some player to go up to your turret and just bust it, you know? You, this way, uh, they have a way of keeping it invulnerable, but you can still, like, move it around and stuff when you're setting it up. Let's go to multi, put the ammo in. Got the sound way down. Seems to be locked on these cows, though. Let's, let's snag them. Hopefully it can't shoot us. Oh yeah, it just it switched targets now. And oh, what? Oh, it shot the cow over there. <laughs> okay. And maybe we use this uh, when we try to get our our meat or something. I don't know. Our Cosmo meatballs. Although I think we need live cows to do that, don't we? Seems to work pretty good. Just drop a guy over here. <laughs> it makes a splat sound. <laughs> I love it. Um, oh, we're out of mobs now, right? Oh, we got one left, actually. One left. Let's see if we can hit it way up here. That would be impressive. Oh, it does. It does. Wow. So it got, it has uh, pretty good angles on this gun. Okay, so here's my plan, guys. I'm going to take a little lunch break here uh, from, from recording. Um, during my lunch break, I'm going to try put together some more neutron collectors so it's going to be instant for you but for me it's something to do while I eat because it's a pretty tricky thing I think we got all the pieces to make at least a couple stacks except for these solar things looks like we got a hundred in there 
How many more can we make? Oh, we're missing the the plastic. Let's just see how many of these we can possibly make. All right. Grab the plastic, throw it in there, and then we'll see what the limiting factor is. Do do. Okay, solar. How many can we do? Can we do 200? Yeah. Can we do 500? Yeah. Oh, okay. We can probably do quite a few then. Go for six. Ah, yeah, I think we got enough, actually. Okay, so I guess the main limiting thing is still going to be these crystals. Uh, but we should be able to do several stacks of the neutron collectors. So I'm going to fill in the pieces here. Uh, we also just got our portal set up, so we make more elven quartz, which is just regular quartz. we got to take it and then throw it in here. It's not something we can duplicate, so we have to do this. Throw it in here. And I'll let this run too for a while. All right. Well, I had my lunch, guys. Mm, sandwiches. <laughs> and uh, we're back at it here now. Uh, this is actually taking me about an hour to get three stacks of neutron collectors. Mostly because, like, to craft these, I have to do it one by one. Which is really annoying. Uh, but also, we needed, like, some dark clouds, some signalium plates, and a few other things. But... Is that all of them? What I do is I throw them on the ground so that I don't have to like drag drop them. I just use the number pad to put them into place when I'm crafting. It makes it a lot easier. I do that when I'm making like dispensers and stuff too. This is so much easier. All right, so now we got three stacks of these. We'll throw them on top of here. Boop, boop, oh, boop, and one more. There we go, cool. So the next time we get 64 in here, we should have enough, I think, to make the wand of animation. Then we can start duplicating the neutrons, possibly. We'll have to see how that works exactly. Uh, but that's cool. Let's see. Let's do a couple more quests in our book here, I guess, to finish up the episode. Tell me something, guys. I have a question for you, actually. Is it weird that I, like, always have the same thing for lunch? Like, every day, all my life. <laughs> uh, to put it into perspective, like, if I was to have lunch, out of 50 times, I'd probably have sandwiches 49 times. And, like, the one time might be fast food burgers or something, you know? Sandwiches or subs, I mean. Um, like, when you ha when you guys have lunch, do you always eat the same thing, or do you, you change it up a lot? Is my question. Millennium. Okay, let's do this. Millennium. It's an easy one. Because I, like, always have the same thing. And usually I have the same thing for breakfast every day. Oops. Redstone. But then, like, supper is the meal. That's That changes for me. That's where I get my variety from. Otherwise, it probably would be short on certain vitamins. Because <laughs> I always have the same thing over and over. But I like it. Like, I love having sandwiches for lunch. Even though I do it all the time. Millennium. And it's an easy thing, too, you know. All right, so this is just like a void world, I think, that portal. Oh, we got another heart. Another heart, man, we're getting tons of hearts today. Okay, that's done. Uh, I guess we unlocked the food gen stuff finally. <laughs> it's like, I was wondering if we were ever going to get that unlocked. But I think that's what the, the beta one did. So we get that. I think we need a stack of this stuff, actually, probably. Can we? Oh, we can duplicate it. Okay, let's do that. Boop and boop. Hopefully there's enough in there to do it. And... Oh, we didn't claim it. Okay, so I think we need eight for this one, plus the transfer node. Might have to craft that transfer node thing. I can't remember if we did that. Oh, we got some in here. Stars. Probably got to add more to this. Okay. Probably got 64 in there now. Let's duplicate some of these. So we got to head down to our QED system here, put in a piece of bedrock and four of these mid-tier transfer nodes. That makes the super duper one. Okay, head back up. Let's duplicate some of these, if we can. Got to get more stars. Oops, not stars, star. Okay, get those. So I made some of the eight times generators. Now we can do the 64 time generator. Right? 
Yes, there we go. Cool. Put these back in there. So that should be those two done. Awesome. This one might give us a good bag, actually. Two graders, another flamethrower, portal gun. Ooh, that's a good one. Not that we need it, <laughs> but it was a good one. Okay, and what else should we do here? Oh, we, yeah, we did this too. Good. Uh, floodgates, what's this one? Oh, that's simple. It's called the floodgates. Let's see if we can do that one. Floodgate. Is, yeah, that's a good. Three of them, okay. One, two, three. Cool. Kind of want to get all these little quests out of the way here. So Ender Quarry upgrade stuff. Ender Quarry. Let's see, I think it was this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, these are actually a little bit tricky. So we need this blue one and we need this orange one here. This requires a Silk Touch 1 gold pick. This requires two Fortune 1 diamond picks, plus this yellow thing, which is a Fortune 1 gold pick and a Fortune 1 iron pick. So... I think what we're going to do, throw in some emeralds here. Takes four to get a fortune one book. If we do... Yeah, it wants to give us a, give us a fortune three, so we got to do it four at a time here. Ba -ba -bum. I think we need four of the fortune ones, and then one silk touch book. Which I think is just a slime ball. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay. And one more here. Cool. So now we should be able to do this. Ender quarry. Hopefully. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's the recipe. Oh, you know, it put the fortune one in, right? Yeah, that's what it was. Whew. Put the silk touch one in. So we got that. Now we need our three things here. Starting with that one. Then we get the gold one. We get the blue one. Awesome. Okay, so that should be all done. There's a lot of steps to that one. Cool. So all these are pretty much done except for the angel wings, which I don't know how to get. This I forgot how to do. It's something to do with unstable ingots. Mm hmm. Okay, let's look at our bags here. We got greater bag. Epic bags can have good stuff in. That's oh, not bad. All right, very good. So most of these are just about done, except for the Ada one. I, I'm guessing that's where we got to we got to focus on to unlock these other two, or maybe the Kappa chain. I'm not sure. These ones are a lot harder though. Um, but yeah, we're getting through the book there. So I think we'll wrap up here for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.